Howdy folks, welcome back. So here we got you over at the Schumann Residence again, and we're getting into the 3rd of September, if you probably can't see the date, but I'm going to zoom in on this structure because it looks a little familiar, so let's just start zooming in really tight because I want you guys to look at this this weave pattern, how we got segments and they're zigzag and staggered. And then we also have our colors going across this way as well. So let's just go really tight so you guys can kind of see the, the, this, it looks like coded almost information or something there. Okay, so there's that. Now I zoomed into that for a reason because it reminds me a lot of this right here. Now this is a picture that was taken about two years ago around this time of the year and uh, it captured what looks to be almost like a magnetic interference or two magnetic fields intersecting and causing this kind of effect in our clouds much like the effect we're seeing here. Now this is a crop circle, but it's a representation of two magnetic fields interfering with each other. And you can see how these these things start to separate along magnetic field lines, okay? How all, all these little segments are all individual segments floating along magnetic field lines. Now in this picture, this seems to me that the clouds have now compressed and are falling into those magnetic field lines and starting to arrange themselves just like we saw in that, in that little uh, crop circle thing. And then if you tilt your head to the right a little bit and look at this as if these are going like hallways down this way, it really starts to look a lot like the Schumann resonance. See, a lot like this configuration here on the Schumann resonance and it looks like just like one of those hallways all in in formation equally divided and everything so I think that this is an actual reading so as I wrap this up I wanted to say that you know we're seeing these magnetic field lines showing up on the Schumann um, folks, maybe watch your skies and start looking for any kind of telltale signs like this stuff down below here, a little lower, or even possibly something as complex as this, maybe forming in your skies. A lot of people theorize this was Project Blue Beam or whatever, but it's not showing some kind of entity or anything. It's, it, this is more like magnetic interference, two magnetic fields crossing or intersecting with each other. And this is the result, what would happen in the clouds. So, uh, folks, I'd say keep your eyes to the skies and see if you can capture anything like that. So you sky watchers out there, be on the lookout for any kind of configuration starting to form that are similar to this. And then, here I just wanted to point out here, the Schumann was doing its normal thing and then starts to blend into this. There doesn't seem to be some just intermediate or some sudden disruption and then it starts if you look closely here these kind of start to blend into this unlike I've never seen before usually it's just a nice solid straight line and then one more little item right here about 24 Hertz we got these two little dots right here almost looking like eyes or something and then there's this starting to blend in so we got all this happening, and then we also had reports from uh, Heidi Bagley yesterday, whose video got taken down, of these uh, gravitational waves hitting the Earth, currently hitting the Earth, and with more to come. So I think what we're seeing here is real data coming back on this instrument from a gravitational wave or whatever electromagnetic interference is happening with our with our electromagnetic field too so so here I've refreshed it this is the current data and at about three o'clock UTC we still have a nice strong signal so in closing we uh, it seems to be that we're having some kind of uh, 
electromagnetic interference or the uh, gravitational waves are hitting us. So folks start looking for stuff like this in the sky or even shapes like this in the clouds where you see magnetic fields intersecting each other and starting to section off and draw lines of mag or field lines. Okay, so that's it for now. I love you all. And until my next video, bye.